Science fiction's all-time favorite blueprint for the superhuman has carved a trail of destruction through countless movies and comic books. They're part man, part machine. They're cyborgs. The cyborg became part of popular culture in 1973 with the release of the TV series, The Six Million Dollar Man. In the opening scenes, the hero, Steve Austin, has a plane crash. He is subsequently rebuilt with bionic parts. But this man claims that Steve Austin existed for real. 30 years ago, Martin Caden wrote the novel Cyborg, on which the TV series was based. Caden says that the fictional Steve Austin was inspired by a living person, a fellow U.S. Air Force pilot who was actually involved in a plane crash. And everyone gave up right away. When the airplane hit, you just knew the man could not live. And when the thing finally came to a halt, the guy was still alive. They were rushing to the hospital, and they rushed the airplane to a special hangar, and the doctors then began to work on a man on the basis of, we have nothing to lose. Let's try every new advance we have in science, in medical science. And the man, instead of being crippled all his life, flew again, flew the same airplane again. And I mean the same airplane. According to Caden, this non-fictional bionic man continued as a pilot in the U.S. Air Force. And the entire episode gave birth to a military program to build cyborgs. We had a cybernetics program that was started in 1970 and 71 and really got going in 1972. This, this program uh, was based upon modifying the human being into a superior creature than one that was born normally. We developed the program. We were ahead of the whole world on it. And the uh, cyborgs that were built at the time were all volunteers. And uh, we, we just were stunned at ourselves. We knew what was coming. No one has been able to confirm Caden's claims about the existence of a military cyborg program. But true or not, it seems that Caden's stories have been influential. We have the technology for building uh, devices that will allow a crude bionic man The Six Million Dollar Man program was an inspiration to some of us, I believe, uh, to pursue this area. Uh, and specifically, what might have come from that? Well, our, I, our attempts, uh, to, uh, which we'll be making in the next few months, to have an animal control a robotic arm directly with his brain uh, won't be as sophisticated as the science fiction that we saw on television, but it's the same kind of thing.